Once you've created and published a form, you'll want to add it to a page or post on your WordPress site. In this video, we'll look at several different ways to add your new form anywhere you choose. Most often, you'll want to add a form to a page or post. In the WordPress editor, open the page or post that you would like to add a form to. Click the plus sign to add a new block, then search for Gravity to quickly locate the Gravity Forms block. Select the Gravity Forms block and it will be automatically inserted into your page. The drop-down list will display all of your active forms. Select the form you'd like to embed and a preview of the form will be added to your page. To edit the options for this form, open the options panel on the right-hand side. You can choose a different form if you'd like and choose whether to hide or display the form title and description on your page. Under the Advanced tab, you can hide the preview of the form and just show the placeholder, if you'd prefer. You can also choose whether to embed the form on the front end using Ajax, a scripting language that allows form changes and confirmations to be shown without having to reload the page. Finally, you can manually set the tab index for this form on the page, though we generally recommend leaving it at its default value since it might create accessibility issues with your forms. When we preview or publish this page, we can see what the form will look like when it is viewed by visitors to our site. You can also add forms to the sidebar or footer of your site using the Gravity Forms widget. From the WordPress navigation menu, select Appearance, then Customize. Open the Widgets panel and then select Add a Widget. Search for or select the Gravity Forms widget from the list of widgets that appear. You can change the title, then choose which form you'd like to appear in this spot. Like before, you can choose whether or not to display the title and form description. Under the Advanced options, you can enable Ajax, disable the script output, and specify the tab index order for your forms. When you are happy with these settings, be sure to publish your changes. And that's it! Now that you know how to create and embed your forms, the sky's the limit on what you can do with Gravity Forms. Thanks for watching.